Hi everyone! Good morning! Welcome to Celebration Saturday. Today we are talking about two different celebration products and so we're going to get to that in just a second. But before we get to that, I want to get through all of the things that need to be talked about real quick, all of my housekeeping things. Um, don't forget, Wednesday is the last day to subscribe for Paper Pumpkin. This is a bouquet of hope kit. It is nine cards, three each of three designs. There's a sneak peek right there. It's going to be gorgeous. It coordinates with the um, flowers and field DSP that we used last week. So if you love that DSP, you might want to make sure you grab this kit. Um, Wednesday's last day to subscribe. All right. If you haven't earned your free class yet, there is still time. I'm giving away a free class in March. If you order using the host code and your order is a minimum of $50, you're going to earn a free class with me in March. And those will ship, I'm hoping the very beginning of March, um, but we'll see. I am really excited about this class. The projects are coming out so adorable. You don't want to miss it. There's going to be lots of prizes and goodies and other things in your kit when you get them in the mail. So if you want that free class, make sure you um, shop my online store. Use the host code. I have it here and it's also in the video description. Use the host code and you will earn that free class in March. All right, and celebration ends the end of this month, February 28th, so we only have a few weeks left of celebration. All right, the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick are out. They are available. I posted a card Wednesday on my blog using the Hey Birthday Chick. The dies are amazing. You guys don't miss this, this promotion. This is a good one, and it goes through June, and I actually have, um, I think I might do a class with this, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date. Um, also going on for demonstrators, we can pre-order this beautiful butterfly bouquet products. Um, there is a stamp set and some dice. So you get this bundle. Um, this will be in the next annual catalog, which comes out in May. And then there's some DSP also that will not carry over into the new catalog. This is only for the promotion. But if you love it, you can actually purchase the starter kit and get these products um, in your starter kit if you want them. So... They are gorgeous project products. I am loving everything that I see with them. Hold on, guys. I just got to find a my celebration catalog. I, I thought I had it out, but I do not. Here it is. Okay. So when you purchase that starter kit, it is a hundred and or it is $99. You get to choose 125 in product. Plus you're going to get five stacks of DSP, five stacks. That's 200 sheets total. I believe it's over a $50 value. So it's a great, great, um, opportunity to join my team. Um, the starter kit's an amazing value, especially during celebrations. If you want to join my team, I would love that. We have so much fun. And, um, Anyway, yeah, we have so much fun. I did a, a Facebook Live with them yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so I want to remind you guys, these are the retiring in colors this year. So there is Purple Posy, uh, Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Terracotta Tile, and Rococo Rose. These colors will not carry over into the next annual catalog. So if these are colors you love, make sure you stock up on them. That includes um, ink pads, re-inkers, markers, Stampin' Blends, cardstock, um, any DSP with these colors in them, um, any embellishments like um, the ribbons, anything. If you love these colors, stock up on them. All right. I have one more thing to talk about, and then we're going to get to the card. I have a class this month. This is my card crate class. I do this class every month. This month we are doing, I'm trying to get the cards all right side up. This month we are doing the In Bloom um, bundle. These are just, these are sneak peek of the cards. They are gorgeous cards. If you want to get in on Card Crate, there's also a link to all the details on Card Crate in the video description. All right, guys, you ready? We're talking about two celebration products today. We are talking about the Oso Ombre DSP. So that is um, this DSP. So it is gorgeous. Let me see if I, I don't have a full package. I've used quite a bit of my package, but there are four different colors featured in here and you get those four colors in um, two different patterns. So there's this beautiful polka dot pattern and then just this beautiful ombre pattern. So this is the Rococo Rose and Rich Razzleberry. And then when you flip them over, you have Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Base. So you can see those beautiful patterns. This is just an amazing like staple to have in your in your stash, it's great to just pull out when you just need a little accent of any either any of these colors, and um, and it just these these are just basic great colors that you can use for 
nearly everything. We are also featuring the beautiful corner bouquet set. This is a good one also to have in your stash. And I know that it says corner bouquet, but our card today, we're not using it in the corner at all. So I'm going to show you the versatility of the stamp set. Okay. And then for our greeting, I'm pulling out my street sweet strawberry stamp set. I love the greetings in here. So those are the supplies we're using. So here are the cards. And I'm going to show you some one in every single color. So this is what we're going to make. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to use that corner bouquet set, but we're not using it in the corner at all. And I think that really makes this set super versatile. So this is the Rococo Rose version, monochromatic, which I love. This is the Blackberry Bliss one. Gorgeous. I love that. This is the um, Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon from the mini catalog. And this is the um, Blushing Bride ribbon from the mini catalog. And look at all that sparkle and glitter. I just love it. And then this is the Granny Apple Green version. Um, this ribbon is the Fine Art ribbon from the Fine Art Floral Suite. Um, just, I love these monochromatic colors. So for the Granny Apple Green one, I paired it with some soft sea foam. And then for the Blackberry Bliss one, I paired it with Rich Razzleberry. And for the Rococo Rose one, I paired it with Mary Merlot. So just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we're going to make the Bermuda Bay one today. So these are the cards we're making and isn't that a beautiful like set of cards you can make um those for gifts you can give them away they would be great for anybody okay so we're starting with a coastal cabana card base so i'm pairing up bermuda bay with coastal cabana so this is our basic card base eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter i have a piece of bermuda bay which is five and a quarter by four and then i have a piece of that um ombre dsp this is i think it's just an eighth smaller so it is three and seven eighths by five and three eighths or five now five and one eighth five and one eighth by three and seven eighths so that will just layer right onto our bermuda bay piece and isn't that isn't that like ombre just so gorgeous i just love it okay and then i have a piece of white which is two by four and a quarter i believe let me just double check four and a quarter two by four and a quarter, and then just some scrap pieces of white. This is for our greening, and then just a very thin, this is a quarter inch piece of Bermuda Bay for that we're gonna layer too. So let's do our stamping first, and I meant to grab some scrap paper. So let me, let me just grab that out. I gotta fold up some of my other notes. <laughs> I'm gonna do some scrap paper real quick, but actually, let's punch. This is the delightful tag topper punch. I'm just going to slide this in here. I'm going to punch this first. Flip it over. Make sure it's nice and even on the back. We're just going to punch that. So that's this is going to be our tag that goes on the, the front of our card. Let me bring one card out so you can see what we're making here. All right, now we're going to do some stamping. And I'm going to do my stamping in Coastal Cabana. And we're going to use that really big corner one, that corner floral piece. Coastal Cabana ink. And I'm going to grab, I forgot to grab post-its. I'm gonna grab a post-it note and I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna place my post-it note just kind of eyeballing it in the middle might be a little high and I'm just gonna try to get it as straight as I can it doesn't have to be um, super super straight because we're gonna end up covering up that that middle part anyway so I have my post-it note I'm masking off the bottom of it for right now and we're going to take the that big stamp we're gonna ink it up really well coastal cabana and i'm just going to stamp that down just like that so pretty isn't that gorgeous oh i just love coastal cabana it is my favorite color all right we're gonna take that post note off i did not do a good job centering that did i <laughs> that is not centered at all that's okay we're gonna stick this down right um masking off the top now and i'm going to stamp this just like that. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. All right. So we are done with our Coastal Cabana ink. I'm going to put that aside. And put that stamp aside before we really mess up. But isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to cover up this part right here. So it's not, it's going to look a lot better. I promise. Okay. I'm going to put my scrap paper aside for just a minute. That we've done with the post-it note. I'm going to grab out my Bermuda Bay ink. We're going to do a little bit more stamping. Bermuda Bay and... I'm going to start with that that piece of white. This is um, half an inch by, I don't know, I would say maybe two and a half or three. We just want it to be the length of our 
greeting pretty much. So I'm going to stamp this down, Bermuda Bay. Perfect. And then I'm going to, we're going to stamp on that DSP. So we're going to use the smaller um, floral corner piece and then the little tiny flower. So let me grab my scrap paper back out again. Now for this, um, the smaller corner one, I'm going to turn my DSP so it's sideways and I'm just going to kind of stamp this right in the middle just like that our tag is gonna go right over it just like that so we, you just have a little bit poking out on the left it's gonna be gorgeous all right now we're just going to add some flowers just around here and I'm just gonna stamp it a couple times just a few little flowers a couple up here um, I'm not re-inking every time I stamp it. I think that, that gives a little bit of fun texture to it. So that's it. Just real cute like that. I might add a couple more up here, just like that. Okay, so that's it. That is our stamping. We're done with our stamping. This is actually a really quick card. So you could definitely make a ton of these in no time. Okay, we are ready to start assembling. So let me get, let's trim our, our greeting a little bit. I'm just gonna cut this at an angle. Just like that and we're going to stick I'm gonna use some stamp and seal and we're just gonna stick our our tiny piece of Bermuda Bay this is just a scrap this is a quarter inch scrap I just wanted a little bit off the bottom here and I'm gonna cut that at the same angle just a little bit hanging over and I'm just gonna trim this off just like that okay love it all right, now we're gonna we're gonna assemble up this whole thing. So some stamp and seal on the back of our DSP piece, and this goes right onto our Bermuda Bay piece. And you're only gonna have a slight margin on that because we only made this an eighth of an inch smaller. And this goes right onto our card base, just like this. All right, and we're gonna finish up our tag. I have some dimensionals. These are little mini dimensionals. And instead of putting them on the back of my little um, greeting piece here, I wanna put them exactly where I want my greeting to cover. So I'm just putting three mini dimensionals right across that, that gap that we made by masking off our, our tag. Now, if you didn't mask it off, your stamp would have stamped all the way up and it just wouldn't have looked, it would have really messed up your tag. So I've let this hang off a little bit on the right and then it hangs off a lot on the on the left. So this is going to go right on here. Oh, I love it. Love Coastal Cabana. Okay, but before we stick it on, we have to tie a bow. So I apologize in advance. This ribbon that I'm using for this one is the Playing With Patterns ribbon pack. This is Coastal Cabana ribbon. I don't know why on earth I have unraveled so much. <laughs> I, I really don't like tying bows on camera. Um, my bows always look okay, but that's because I spend about 20 minutes like finessing them. So once it gets to like picture time, I've already finessed them quite a bit. Now, normally I would say tie this in a knot and then tie it in a bow, but this ribbon um, will add a lot of bulk to your card if you do it that way. So we are just going straight for the bow. Um, so wrap it around. There are um, other people who can teach you how to tie a bow much better than I can. I am, I'm not a good, bow tire this is like upside down let's see can we finagle it oh, okay perfect not perfect but you know close it's good enough we're calling it good enough all right and i need my ribbon scissors trim this off the spool there we go set that aside it's not so bad i mean i've tied worse and it's not too bulky because we didn't tie that knot in advance so if you feel like you need to, you know, finagle with your ribbon more, um, you can always make it do what you want with a glue dot. I'm just trimming off those ends just a little more. Okay, so we're going to stick some dimensionals on the back of here. I'm just going to use my edge pieces on my mini dimensionals here. The mini dimensional edge pieces are the best because they're, they're bigger. I love them. All right, so this is just going to go over. It's going to go over kind of far to the right because we want to see that stamped... Bermuda Bay flower. All right, that is it. Let me pull in all the cards. Pull in all my, get rid of all my trash. 
So you can see how with just that oh so ombre DSP you can create some gorgeous cards. Let's see, can I get them all in? Yeah. So I love it. So you'll have to tell me which one you like the best. So there's the Bermuda Bay one, the Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana one, the Rococo Rose and Mary Merlot one, the Rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss one, or the Granny Apple Green and Soft Sea Foam one. I don't know. I I love them all. I think it's a I think this DSP pack is one of the best things in the celebration catalog. So make sure you grab it. And I hope you grab that corner bouquet stamp too and and use it in other ways except down in the corner where what it's made for. Just think outside the box, use it in different ways. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Now, next week, I will be back next week for um, another Celebration Saturday, but it won't be at 10 a.m. Next week, I'm having my local BOGO sale for um, all my retired stuff that I've been hoarding for a long time. So if you are in the Albuquerque area and you want more information on how you can be a part of that, that BOGO sale, please send me a message. I'd love to get you all the information on that. But I will be live next week, but it won't be until 1 p.m. So mark your calendars. It'll be a different time next week, but I will be live. And next week we are using the Approaching Perfection stamp, which is, it's a good one. Um, I haven't played with this one too much just because I haven't had the time, but I love it. I think it is so, it's so fun. It's, um, so it has some really fun birthday greetings in here. So this is a good one to have if you make a lot of birthday cards. So next week we'll, we'll be doing that one. I'll have a really cute project with that one. And I will see you guys on Wednesday on my business page. And then I'll see you guys right here next week. Bye.